Earth. On it, our daily lives are ruled by one dominant force, gravity. We've always marvelled at those that can seemingly escape its power, flying high above impassable oceans and mountains. Which may begin to explain our very own fascination with height and flight. Through a rigorous design process, we would design our very own high altitude balloon and pod, with the aim of capturing video footage of the blackness of space and the curvature of the Earth. The only question was, would it ever return? It's October 2012 and the team have decided to go down to Createch Engineering in Cockermouth and get some advice from the engineers. The team, along with Pete, an engineer from Createch, discuss how exactly they're going to construct the pod. All seems to be going well. Until the team stumble upon a problem. One of the connectors doesn't fit. However, it doesn't take long for a solution to be found. With the meeting at an end, the team adjourn for the evening. Okay, hi everyone, this is uh, Matthew Bursard from Team Up Balloon Challenge. Um, this is our pod, or it's going to be our pod. Okay, so this is how we've uh, cut the polystyrene. We've got some templates on it for cutting the hollow space in the middle where we're going to have all our items in for tracking the pod and the camera. Okay, so we've now cut out the hollow space for the pod. Okay, so there it is. That's the first stage of the pod completed. The next stage of construction is parachute making. By dropping the pod and the parachute from a second story window, team hope to replicate conditions that the pod may face on its way back down. The first and second tests are completed successfully. However, the third test is another matter. Is it dead? Yeah, yeah, it's dead. <laughs> With a large section of the pod damaged and only five days until launch, the team faced lengthy repairs and long hours of work. This is not what the team needed at this late stage. Five, four, three, two, one. It's launch day and it's a cold winter's morning in Cockermouth.
final assembly taking place, the team makes sure that they have everything spot on. In total, 50 metres of rope was used to secure the balloon to the pod. The pod is now firmly secured. From this point on, there is no going back. Let go, it's obviously take your time. Yeah. There's no rush. Okay. But when you're ready, wait, wait. can you let us go? Yes, <laughs> Make sure nothing is in the way. Ready? Okay, guys, you ready? Good! Can we have a count now, please? Can we nice for a ten? Are you guys ready? Yeah! Let's have a ten! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! With a bit of a wobbly start, the balloon is now up and rising and on its way to the edge of space. They've got an insight into what goes on. It raises the profile of science at Cockermouth School. It raises the profile of science as a career path. So it benefits all of us in that respect. After the balloons disappeared from sight, the six formers monitored their progress on their computers. Typically we try and track it, um, we've had a few issues with the tracking, um, it's gone into the clouds and the, the water in the clouds has had a few minor effects on the balloon, um, basically we've, we've temporarily lost a uh, signal with it, uh, but hopefully the idea is that as soon as it rises up out of the clouds, which shouldn't be too long, um, it will regain signal and regain contact and be able to track it from there. The team doesn't know it yet, but that was the last time they would ever see the balloon and pod with their own two eyes. The minutes turned into hours, and with no feedback from the balloon, hopes were beginning to fade. By five o'clock, more or less all hope of ever retrieving the balloon has gone. George, our team's mascot, is a Lego astronaut. It was a last minute addition to the pod on the morning of launch. He is now a symbol that has become synonymous with the loss of our balloon. We still believe that somewhere out there, whether up in space or crash landed, our pod will survive. And we do not hope in vain, for there is evidence of its survival. Because the other team's balloon captured something truly remarkable. High, high up above the Cumbrian countryside, We will not stop looking.
We will keep broadcasting on the radio. And we will keep putting regular articles into local newspapers. People will not forget. We will find you. Thank you.